I've been walking recently and recognised that there's blackberries that you can pick for free. Can I eat these on keto and how should I eat them if I am able to? That's a great question. Um, about the blackberries that are growing naturally uh, in our environment, in the parks and the, in the woods. Um, they do have a lot of sweetener in them. They do have a lot of sugar in them, uh, but they also have a lot of uh, nutrition in them. And being on keto, you do need a little bit of sugar. We need a little bit, just a little bit. So what I personally do, I when I'm walking around in a day, um, I will try to eat about 10 to 20 uh, blackberries in a day. That's it. That's for me. I've, for my body, for this body at this point in time, I found that to be the optimum. Um, I feel much better when I've eaten 10 or 20 blackberries. The other option I would, could do if I didn't have blackberries would be to take like a, a teaspoon of honey, raw honey, just to give you that little bit of sugar. Uh, I've found that, so this, this, this bit I wouldn't recommend if you're starting on keto. When you're first starting out on keto, you need to be become fat adapted. And you do that by completely cutting all sugars and carbs out. And the first month, you want to be as strict as possible. Um, the more strict you are, the quicker you get through it and the easier it is. And But once you're fully fat adapted, which is what I am, because I've been keto for like five, five to ten years, uh, I can now add little bits of um, sugar or honey in there. A very small amount. We're, we're talking about like, like if it was honey, it would be like a, a teaspoon. And if it was blackberries um, that are growing outside, they're, they're great because they're just growing outside. Do you know, you don't need to go and buy them from a supermarket. And you just need about 10, 10 20, that's it. Job done. Um, so that's sort of how, that's how I deal with um, the blackberry thing. Is that the same for red currants or black currants? Yeah, basically. Yes. Strawberries. Strawberries, yeah. Any of those things. Uh, you. I've heard that make... you can eat a whole green banana on keto. Can you and how often would that be? It depends on how green the banana is. There's a Jamaican green banana, I don't know, plantain or something. It's plantain. Called. Plantain, yeah, you can have that. So the greener the bra banana is, the more resistant starch it has inside of it. And resistant starch is uh, a type of fiber that can't be digested. Um, it can't. It does. It doesn't do anything for the body, but it will feed your gut bacteria. So, and it, and because your body can't digest it, uh, it doesn't do anything. You know, nothing goes through. It doesn't turn into sugar or anything like that, or carbs or anything like that. So, green banana is fine. But you know, again. You want to limit it. A one green banana is, is fine. You know, like or two maximum. You know, so you don't want to be like, for example, millions of years ago before I went keto, I did this uh, experiment where I would eat. Um, my goal was to eat just bananas, so I was eating like 10, 20 bananas a day. Wouldn't recommend it now. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can do that with the avocados, you know, uh, but not with bananas. Bananas just got too much sugar in. Uh, you mentioned plantain. Are you talking about frying it off like you normally do? You slice it and then fry it off? You can do, uh, but when you fry it up, don't fry it up in vegetable oil. Um, fry it up in like uh, coconut oil or butter or something like that. Uh, I've not done much plantain work. I think I bought them once and I tried to eat it like a banana. It wasn't the most pleasantest thing in the world and I haven't bought one since. But yeah, I suppose you would fry them up. And I'm aware that tomatoes are also classed as a fruit. Can they be eaten on the ketogenic diet? Yes, you can eat tomatoes, but again, you want to limit them. Uh, tomatoes is a nightshade, and some people have uh, a negative reaction to them. So tomatoes are fine, but just limit it. You, you don't want to like eat like 10. And can they be eaten raw or should they be cooked? Uh, it doesn't matter. Ideally, with tomatoes, they, you want to be, they want to be cooked. Uh, because there's something in them, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it it, um, it makes it easier to digest the tomato if it's cooked. And it doesn't matter how it's cooked? Yeah, it doesn't matter, no. As long as it's not cooked in vegetables. <laughs>